The tuple is another sequence data type in Python. You can consider tuples as being immutable lists, meaning their contents cannot be changed by adding, removing, or replacing elements. Tuples may be useful when you want to store some data in the form of a sequence and keep that data untouchable. Ok, enough with the theory, let's start to practice and create a tuple. Tuples are enclosed by parentheses and their elements are separated by commas. So let's create my tuple equals open and close parentheses. Now let's confirm that this is indeed a tuple, so type of my tuple. Ok, so the tuple type is confirmed. Now this is an empty tuple. What if you want to have a tuple with a single element? Well, to create such a tuple, you have to use a trick. Meaning that although you have only one element inside the tuple, you have to write a comma after it. Otherwise, it will not be regarded as a tuple. So, let's see this. If we create my tuple with a single element, that being, let's say, 9, without the comma trick I told you about, now Python will regard this as an, let's see, integer. Okay, that's not what we want. We want a tuple. So, let's try this again, this time with a comma after this element. So, let's use the type function again. Okay, and this time we indeed have a tuple. Okay, next let's populate our tuple with some elements. So, let's say my tuple equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ok, so let's see my tuple. Ok. Tuples support indexing, like strings and lists. So, if you want to access an element in the tuple, the same indexing rules are applied. So, let's try this. First, let's see the first element in the tuple. So, my tuple, sorry, of 0, gives us 1. Correct. My tuple of 1 is 2. Nice. Now let's try also negative index indexes. So my tuple of minus 1 gives us the last element of the tuple, so 5 minus 2 will be 4. OK. Now tuples being immutable, you cannot add or modify an element of a tuple. So let's verify this. My tuple of 1. Let's try to change the element at index 1 equals 10. OK. So Python gives us an error a type error, and tells us that a tuple object does not support item assignment. OK. Also, removing elements is not permitted with tuples. So, let's try to delete the element at index 1. Del my tuple of 1. OK, so this time Python tells us that tuple object doesn't support item deletion. Nice. Another interesting thing you can do with tuples is tuple assignment. This means you assign a tuple of variables to a tuple of values. So let's see this. Let's say we have tuple1 equals to Cisco 2600 and an iOS version, let's say 12.4. OK, so this will be tuple1. Now let's assign another tuple, a tuple of variables, to the tuple we created. So, let's create the following variables, let's say vendor, model, and iOS, in a form of a tuple, equals tuple1. Ok, now let's see if indeed the variables in the tuple of variables were associated with the values in tuple1. So, let's see the value of vendor, OK, so this returns Cisco. Very nice. Let's also see the model variable and the iOS variable. OK, works as expected. This is called tuple packing and unpacking, and you can see it as a kind of mapping between elements of a tuple and elements of another tuple. An important thing to remember here is that both tuples should have the same number of elements, so if you have different number of elements, a value error will be returned. So, let's see, tuple 2 has the following elements, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And let's say we want to assign a tuple of variables, 
composed of x, y, and z variables to this tuple we created, tuple 2. We will get an error saying that too many values, there are too many values to unpack. So you cannot assign a tuple with a number of elements to a tuple with a larger or a smaller number of elements. Okay. Now you can assign values in a tuple to variables in another tuple within a single statement. So let's try this. Let's try a, b, and c equals to 10, 20, and 30. Now let's check the value of a is 10, b is 20, and c is 30 as expected. Nice. Now let's see some operations on tuples.